So in this problem, we want to find the critical points of this function. So critical points when you're dealing with two variables, x and y, are where both first partial derivatives with respect to x and y um, equal 0. So we're going to start by finding both first partial derivatives. So the derivative of e to a function by the chain rule is e to that same function times the derivative of uh, that inside function. So the derivative of 2xy with respect to x, we treat y like it's a coefficient, as, just like the 2. So the 2 and the y we treat as the coefficient of x. So the derivative of 2xy is 2y. And the first partial with respect to y is the same thing, e to the 2xy, times the derivative of 2xy. But now y is the variable, and x is the co uh, constant or coefficient. So 2x is a coefficient of y. So the derivative of 2xy, the inside function, is 2x. Now, to find where the critical values are, we're going to set both first partial derivatives equal to 0 and solve. So, pushing that off. Okay, let's do the first one. It's already essentially factored. Uh, it's an equation that's equal to 0, so it has solutions where both e to the 2xy equals 0 and where 2y equals 0. Now, e to this equals 0. There's not going to be any solutions to that. Um, nor do you even know how to solve a, an equation quite like that. But um, you can figure it out because of e to the x, let's just look at plain old e to the x, looks like this. It never really equals 0. It gets really close to the x-axis down there. But e to the x will never equal 0 for any value of x. So this has no solution. And, of course, the solution over here is y equals 0. And then this one, is, it follows in the same way. So I think with this, you can uh, get the critical point.